The past couple of days have been dangerous ones for Montana Highway Patrol troopers. MTN's Cody Boyer reports snow and ice on the roads means bad news for drivers and the men and women who are trying to lend a helping hand. We got to push the limit as safely as possible. Trooper D. Giovanna has been patrolling Gallatin County for about a year and a half. Seems like yesterday's and I-90 come with the snow and the territory. We'll just say, hey, dispatch, where do you need us? And uh, we're dispatched to pretty much the most serious one. But the powder can turn a normal drive into a dangerous one quickly. Just one person not paying attention, going over one bridge can change, can shut down the interstate for hours. As in this terrifying case back in 2015 near Missoula, a semi driver lost control, smashing through another crash. Amazingly, even though the woman who was in a wrecked car was thrown into the median, everyone survived. But it is a worst case scenario that DG Ovana says could happen again in an instant. Is anyone hurt out there? How quickly do we need to respond? Because it's dangerous us driving in those conditions as well. Have you ever gotten your car with bad conditions and wondered if you're going to be able to come back? Is it ever something like that? That's you can't think that way. <laughs> While yesterday is melting behind us, he says he and his fellow troopers are ready for the next wave. Crashes, they happen where the road is the worst. So when people see those flashing lights, they need to slow down, recognize that something's going on up there and, and uh, react appropriately. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News. Troopers say if you see those flashing lights, get over as safely as possible. If you can't, the next plan should be to not panic, slow down, and stay aware of your surroundings.